While Democrats celebrate another midterm win, some Republicans are looking ahead to 2024, and this appears to be causing a rift in the party. And once again, Donald Trump is right in the middle of it all. Today, he lashed out at Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, saying the first-term Republican could have never won without his support. Our Casey Nolan is here with some late-breaking reaction from Governor Youngkin. So what's he saying, Casey? Well, you know, Leslie, a lot of candidates around the country backed by Donald Trump did not do so well this past Tuesday. That seems to have some Republicans distancing themselves from the former president. So why did Trump go after Governor Youngkin this morning? It may have had something to do with this. You know, the voters have spoken and they have said that they want a different leader. And a true leader understands when they have become a liability. A true leader Virginia's Republican that. Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears on Fox Business yesterday. She said after Tuesday's election, it's time for Republicans to move on from Donald Trump and that she would not support him if he runs for president again. And that may have been enough to make Governor Youngkin a Trump target on his social media site, Truth Social, or maybe Trump sees Governor Youngkin as 2024 competition. Either way, the former president posted this morning that Youngkin could not have won Virginia without him, could not have come close to winning, he said. Trump also made a racist comment about Youngkin's name, saying it sounds Chinese. Today, cameras caught up with Governor Youngkin late this afternoon, and he was asked about both pr Trump's post and his lieutenant governor's comments. Listen, I, 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 you, you all know me. I do, I do not uh, call people names. I, I uh, really work hard to bring people together, and he's that's what we're working on. Lieutenant Governor Sears is a strong leader. I deeply, deeply respect her. She is, she is her own independent person, and we work extraordinarily well together. Um, and I haven't made any comments along that right now. What I am focused on is bringing everybody together post the election and getting moving. Governor Yunkin is not alone in his attacks from Trump. The former president had even more to say, criticizing Florida's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis, who won big on Tuesday and many see as a possible presidential candidate in 24. Trump says he is still making a big announcement, possibly about 2024 next week. Leslie. I think we all know what that's probably going to be. Mm -hmm. All right, Casey, thank you. <laughs>